everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Helen and you're watching Stitch Rip Repeat. So today's video, I am summing up my challenge that I set myself and that was the challenge hashtag 60 day no buy challenge. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that this finished on Sunday and I said I was gonna put a video up of how I got on. I want to say a big thank you to all the people who commented when I first said I was going to do this to say that they were going to do it and also how people have gotten on. There's been varying results and a lot of people have done really well. Maybe they've bought a few patterns or they've bought a few fabrics and there's some people who haven't bought any and then there is a few people who like myself failed miserably <laughs> at the challenge. So I'm not calling it a fail because um, I have ended up with some lovely patterns and fabrics, but I have discovered that I have very little self-control when it comes to all the lovelies I see being posted. So what the challenge has taught me is I've now muted quite a lot of my favourite fabric shops I know I, I decided that's probably the way that it'll work better for me and going forward I'm gonna take a little tip from the lovely Ruan so Ruan you were quite right not to tell people because just like you as soon as I decided I couldn't buy something that is literally all I wanted to do. It's like when you go on a diet and you restrict yourself from certain things like maybe chocolate or crisps and as soon as you say you can't have them, you're not going to have them, that's all you crave. That's exactly what happened with me. <laughs> so, so it's not the best way for me to do it. So I decided maybe not having quite so many lovely fabrics and patterns popping up on my daily feed on my Instagram is probably a better way to go. So, um, so I started off with a list. When I started to buy the odd thing, I was justifying it to myself. I always had reason, it's absolutely fine. And I have to say that the majority of the things I've bought is because they had a sale or I had a discount. So I feel good in that I didn't spend a huge amount of money. I did still buy a lot of patterns and fabric though. <laughs> so, so this list, I'm going to start going through it, but I can see in front of me, I think I stopped. I stopped writing the list when it got ridiculous. So there was literally no point trying to justify anymore. I was just buying all the things. <laughs> so first thing that I actually um, sort of broke my ban on was a couple of fabrics. So one of them was because it was from DIY or Die, who I fabric company I used to follow well still do follow because she still makes garments herself but I followed them on Instagram and they put up a notice a while back that they were going to stop selling fabrics and so they had discounted a lot of the fabrics so that was my first <laughs> my first breaking of my ban um, was to get fabrics because they were going to shut and that's like I say how I justified it to myself. So the fabric that I picked up from DIY or Dye is this lovely needle cord and if it doesn't show up very well I'll put in a photo but it's got a leopard print in this um, black around the outside and brown in the middle and then it's on a white background needle cord. I really like this. I have a similar one. Hold on I'm just going to check. Yep, I have a similar one with like a cream background and blue in the middle cord. And I'm not 100% certain, but I am thinking a skirt for this one. Um, I have told you before on the channel that I'm trying to do more skirts, trousers, etc. So that I bought because they were going to close down. So I thought, nab it while you can. And the next one, I have literally no excuse. <laughs> it was from the lovely Rainbow Fabric and they do a story whenever they've got new fabrics in and they sort of waft through all the fabrics and I love watching it. This is one of the first ones I muted by the way so that I won't go down that rabbit hole again for a while. This is a lovely Visco chalet. I have literally no idea at the moment of what I'm going to make with it which is another one of my steps that I'm trying to change. I'm trying to buy fabric with at least a rough idea 
of what I'm going to make. This one, just love the fabric. And it is, like I say, a viscose chalet. I got three metres of this and I'm not sure which way the pattern goes, but this is it here. So um, very me, all the colours. I just love this sort of splat effect. I'm not sure if those go, obviously I'll have to look when I make down the garment so the stripes go down or whether it's meant to go across either way fabulous so that was the first two and I remember thinking at the time I wouldn't buy anything else that was my little you know I'll do these two and I won't do anything else no of course as you know I've already said failed miserably <laughs> and carried on buying throughout my 60 days so I think that the next thing that I bought was some patterns I can't show you physically physically so I'll pop in photos these were with discount codes I got from the sewing weekender and I bought one Tilly had a discount code and I've seen so many gorgeous versions of the Lyra dress um, which is one of her recent patterns. I especially love all the ones that Liz, um, the baker that sews, has been making. Oh, they look fabulous. Do go check her out. Um, as with all my videos, if you've not seen me before, I do link everything I talk about down below so you can go and check them out. Um, so, yeah, I bought the Lyra because Tilly had a discount and I also bought the Zadie because that's another one that I've been really wanting to do and I had a discount code for that. The other one that I got from the Sewing Weekender discount codes was the True Bias and it's the Shelby dress and romper, which again was a very popular pattern. Reminds me of dresses I had in the 90s. Um, so yeah, I picked that one up with my discount code because I have wanted that for quite a while. So that was really good. Okay, so other patterns that I got, um, I can't remember when exactly, but Simplicity had their 50% sale on. And like I said earlier, I'm wanting to try and make um, more skirts and trousers, but don't have a huge amount of patterns. So took advantage of the uh, Simplicity sale. And I bought these jogger style, um, and it's the 8268, and it's got adults, childs and teens, which I really love. And it's this simple looking, I hope, jogger style pattern. So you know I love a good pair of joggers. So I'm excited to try that one out. And then I got this lovely Mimi G style and it is 8889. And I really like these. I think if I can get them made up for summer, if our son comes back, these trousers are fabulous. And the pattern includes the little blouse, which I think is very similar to the Cali shirt in many ways. So you've got like a whole summer outfit in that one. So I was chuffed to get that one. I got 8701, which is one of their pattern hacking. So it's got lots of different options for the trousers on that one there. And finally, not trousers, but this one is like a pinafore dress. And this one is 8641 from Simplicity. And it is that one there. Not totally sure which one of the options I'd make, but I really do like that. And I thought um, for the 50% off sale, those four patterns were um, really great. Sorry, I'm dropping them on the floor here if it's making noise. <laughs> then I got a couple of patterns from people who were de-stashing. And the first one, I think this one cost me about four pounds, including postage. And this is the Deer and Doe, oh, I'm gonna say it wrong, aren't I? Jupe Chardon skirt, which I thought looked like a really nice, simple style skirt. So you've got a couple of options there. I think really one's got a um, band on the bottom and a belt loop style and one hasn't and then you can do it without the band at the bottom so yeah I picked that one up because again obviously skirts and trousers and then lastly I have a feeling I got this off the lovely Charlotte who was the winner of the sewing bee a few years back and again this is another one I've eyed up before and I thought looks lovely I've seen quite a few people make them really simple looking design but I think 
in a really nice fabric could be a fantastic summer dress and that is the Makers Atelier Pleat Detail Dress and it also can be made as a top. So if I show you the line drawings, there. And I love that simple pleat, just giving it a little bit of classic style. So yeah, I did pick up uh, quite a few patterns, but none of the patterns were at full price. So I'm quite proud of myself there. So back to a few fabrics. Um, and I like to shop on a Facebook page where the lady who sells fabrics gets in um, sort of one-off pieces and she measures them and lets you know what size it is and how much it costs and I picked up this one which I really love I do like a border print I'm trying to incorporate more border prints when I buy fabrics these days okay so this is a I think probably a cotton jersey I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it but it's this sort of limey yellow at the top but then it goes down and hopefully you can see all the way to this lovely trees at the bottom border. I thought so summery, really lovely and summery. I think that colour with a tan, <laughs> I know I'm being optimistic, um, but that colour with tan would be lovely. And I'm just thinking a really nice, simple shift dress with this this fabric here, um, very summery. I think with a little pair of trainers, um, that will be lovely. So I've got that. And then Samantha Claridge had a 50% off fabric sale recently. Now these two I bought specifically after buying my, sorry, not buying, after making my summer outfit in the um, in the last video you should have seen, I think it was the last video where I made a Phoebe top from Love Sewing Magazine and the Sphere trousers, and it's my summer holidaying outfit. Um, I loved how that looked, and I really like the idea of uh, summery stripes. So I picked these two up from Samantha Claridge in the sale. So firstly, and I'm hoping this will show, I apologise because I've forgotten what type of fabrics they are. I'll probably pop it in down below. I got this really lovely textured stripe and it's a bluey grey kind of colour, I think. And I think that'll make a lovely floaty pair of trousers. It's really lightweight and um, yeah, I loved that. And then because of how the outfit I made looked i bought this one because i thought it was similar um not see-through like the other one so um it's like a pinstripe so i don't know if you can see but the stripes are tiny little dots so it is a sort of pinstripe on a slightly off-white not quite cream and i think that this was a viscose again i will check <laughs> but anyway it is gorgeous and i picked up I think like two or three meters of that because I'm hoping to make trousers and top again or at least trousers I'm thinking both of these lovely floaty trousers so as I say those were 50% off so I was quite happy with that and then the last fabric I've got to show you and that I bought in my supposed ban I got this one just the other day so as I said I am easily influenced by seeing people posting on Instagram and Facebook etc when they've made up an item and where they got the fabric from and this is one of my favourites the lovely shell at So Affordable does just the most gorgeous fabrics as you may already remember from my video I said I'm going to be her Miss July so I am literally working on that as we speak but it's top secret this fabric however is not secret so she put this on the other day and she had two ladies makeup outfits from it and they were both stunning. One of them, which hopefully I'll be able to find and pop up here, was like a whole nightwear set. So like a top and shorts and like a dressing gown, which I absolutely love and maybe what I'm doing. And the other was this fabulous skirt, which I also love. And I'm thinking the pocket full skirt from Stitched in Wonderland might look quite nice. So as you can see, this is a stretch satin border and it is in these gorgeous butterflies. So I'm hoping you can see, sorry it's creased, I've just, I just got it in the post the other day. 
so it's uh, I would say slightly off white for the main part with black butterflies and then the border you've got that lovely black with the butterflies on and yeah I'm thinking a lovely dressing gown type robe I'm actually thinking rather than shorts for the bottoms I think this would look really nice as the Jamie so my current everyday pajama bottoms at the moment are Jamie up from Tilly in the Button sorry the Jamie pajama pants and I've got them in a brushed cotton check but I think if I made a dressing gown out of this and then the long full length Jamie with this lovely black border around the bottom I think that would just be really gorgeous it's such a stunning fabric I'm not sure how well I'm gonna cope sewing with satin but we will see so that just arrived the other day and I can't remember exactly how much it was but I picked up four meters so Shell's prices are brilliant so it won't have been a lot, probably three pounds a metre. And I got four metres of it so that I can hopefully make, as I say, a whole evening outfit for um, lounging around the house. So that is my fabrics. I have decided to go with not a challenge, because if I say I'm doing a challenge, you've already seen I just completely fall at the first hurdle. <laughs> so I'm going to try and attempt to do a sew from your stash before you buy i'm not going to say i'm going to do it and i'm not going to say i won't buy anything but i'm trying so ruan put this up and i will try and remember what it was and who put who who suggested it It was on instagram and i'll pop the details here if i can find it but i think it was sew up five items from stuff you from fabric you already have in your stash before you buy any new fabric now as you know i have a huge stash already i've just added to it However, the last three things I made were from my stash. So you've got the outfit I made with my white and black stripe, which I'd had for quite a while. So that was from my stash. And then two outfits that will be coming up in my Friday sews this week. I do apologise I didn't get around to one last week, but I will have those two items in my Friday sews this week. And they were from fabrics I had in my stash already. So I've done three items so I'm quite happy with that and then the one I'm sewing up for Cheryl she gave me the fabric obviously because it's Miss July so I'm not sure whether to count it I probably won't count it however I have been printing off some of the patterns that I have using Fabuloso as always you guys know I highly recommend them their customer service and speed and the actual pattern paper are brilliant so I would never go anywhere else so I've been busily receiving envelopes through the post <laughs> of patterns I have saved on my uh, Adobe Acrobat and um, I have picked fabrics so hopefully I will do at least five items from my fabric before I attempt to buy any more and I'd really like to do as much as possible but I'm not going to give it a number because as you know if I do that then it'll never happen so yeah, that was my sum up. So you might say I didn't do very well on the challenge. <laughs> However, I'm quite chuffed with what I've got. I didn't actually spend a huge amount of money. And oh, I meant to say, hold on one second. So I meant to actually say that because I did feel a bit disappointed with myself because I had hoped I'd at least last a few weeks. What I then did was I decided that, right, so yes, I have got these new fabrics. So I de-stashed some fabrics so this is quite heavy but I de-stashed over the last few days these fabulous fabrics so I actually don't feel so bad because I've de-stashed more than I have bought in future the plan would be de-stash fabrics before I buy fabrics but either way I got back the money that I spent and then some. So I don't feel at all guilty. And if you did like me and broke the ban, don't feel guilty. You know, there's worse things to feel bad about than <laughs> buying some fabric and patterns. So I am going to go now and I will pop this up later on. And if you could give it a like and if you haven't yet subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you did. And also I should have my Friday shows up this week. So I will see you again then. Mm -hmm.